Russian officials are actively seeking new soldiers in homeless shelters across Siberia and the Far East. In this way, Moscow is trying to meet its needs, which have grown due to the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region, sources of the Radio Liberty project, Siberia.Realities, report. According to the volunteers and workers at homeless shelters, the recruitment campaign happens from time to time. In particular, a volunteer at a shelter in the suburbs of Angarsk, an industrial city in the Irkutsk region, noted that in 2023, recruiters came to us almost every month with leaflets that urged people to sign contracts. Of course, these fools were tempted by the contract, salary, he said, referring to the homeless residents of the shelter. The publication noted that the ad, which was posted on the website of a rural administration in the Irkutsk region, offers healthy adult men a one-time payment of 400,000 rubles or $4,388, as well as monthly payments of 210,000 rubles or $2,304 and other benefits. If the contract is extended for more than one year, it brings an additional bonus of 195,000 rubles or $2,139. At the same time, a volunteer at a shelter in the suburbs of Angarsk says that the homeless do not fully understand that they are gambling with their lives. They believe that you can return from war, and they don't understand that apart from the first guys who signed six-month contracts in 2022, no one returned alive, she stressed. Another volunteer at the homeless shelter told reporters that of the more than 50 homeless men who have disappeared from the shelter since the summer of 2022, only two have returned, both without money. The rest, God willing, they get stuck on the way to the war, drinking away their earnings. Most likely they are already dead, the woman said. In turn, a volunteer at another shelter noted that a former resident of the institution called and said that out of his company, which consisted of 50 people, only he and one other soldier survived. According to the homeless man, after he refused to be cannon fodder, he was thrown into a penalty pit, an improvised prison for soldiers in basements or holes in the ground. A fire at the Kavkaz oil and petroleum storage facility just outside Proltarsk, a town in Russia's Rostov Oblast, was finally extinguished on September 2, the state-run media outlet TASS said, citing emergency services. After the Russians carried out a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Russian Federation has repeatedly complained about strikes on various objects that help the aggressor state carry out aggression against Ukrainians. In particular, on August 18, as a result of a drone attack in Proltarsk, a fire broke out at an oil depot, and it could not be extinguished. On the 23rd, the facility was attacked again by drones. The enemies were able to extinguish the fire in Proltarsk only in early September. The administration of the Proltarsk district reported that the area of the fire was 10,000 square meters, injuring dozens of firefighters and destroying dozens of the site's 74 fuel tanks. The fire has been extinguished, an emergency source told the TASS news agency, adding that firefighters remained on site to monitor for potential flare-ups due to strong winds. Despite this, he notes, fire crews did not leave the scene of the incident, continuing to monitor in case the fire resumed. The calculations are in place now, today they are still looking, let's say, just in case, because there is a strong wind, said the source. This oil depot was one of three oil depots managed by Russia's federal agency for state reserves hit by Ukrainian drones last month. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky praised the strikes, calling them part of the effort to bring a just end to the conflict. Since Moscow launched its full-scale invasion in 2022, Kiev has repeatedly targeted Russian oil and gas facilities, describing the attacks as fair retaliation for Russia's strikes on Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Proltarsk is located some 230 kilometers southeast of the regional capital of Rostov-on-Don and 340 kilometers from the border with the Russian-occupied part of Ukraine's Donetsk Oblast.